it's crazy the because it's crazy because people glorify it in the way after they see how motherfuckers move after going through shit like that yeah. and act like it don't affect niggas for real. But it's like in real life, you motherfuckers just can't let you see that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no, it ain't never no time for niggas to be fucked up when you come from shit like that. Like, you yeah. don't have time to be emotional. You don't have time to, you know what I mean? React like that. But then everybody look and be like, oh, that nigga don't care about nothing. No, nigga, I don't have time to care about nothing. Like, yeah. the moment I start caring about some shit, that's when my ass end up fucked up. So, mm. that's the other shit. Why motherfuckers want to leave, G? Like, you can really give a fuck about something when you leave this bitch. But you really got to have a one-track mind and this motherfucker. And that's staying alive. Yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's real, like, like, nigga, my son just turned 14 yesterday, bro. Like, nigga, nigga got kids, like, nigga. Got that, shit to live for. Yeah, like, nigga, come on. I got four kids. Nigga, four step kids. You feel me? So it's like, nigga, hell no. Like, nigga on GOG. Like, nigga ain't for hell no. Like, a nigga ain't for that, bro. I'm 31, bro. Hell no. Like, if I die today, nigga, I made it. For, for the average Chicago nigga, I made it for on game. You feel me? That's so, a fact. That's a fact. You know what's crazy, though? Just to chime in on what the brother's saying, like, because I, you know, I mean, what's so crazy is I never, I never had that type of paranoia once I started getting light for some reason. Maybe because my, my, my story was different, but I never felt that way. My guys and my homies was rapping about a lot of crazy shit. And I fucked with everybody, like, just like I fucked with Herb and shit, I fucked with Yellow. Them niggas been in my house and everything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But the reality is, you know, I think, I think it's a, it's definitely a line because Chicago is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Like, to me, like I, you know, maybe I would have did, maybe I made moves that necessarily wasn't the wisest as far as how like lax I be, but I yeah. feel like we get a, you know, me personally, I feel like we get a lot of love in the town. You know what I'm saying? Like I be, I go wherever I want. I drive whatever car I want. And maybe that's, yeah. the, that's not the wise thing. I start tightening up a little bit with the carjacking kind of start happening. But other than that, though, I just never, I really, shit, I felt like Chicago, from, and maybe because I, because I knew I never picked a side. I that's literally you. what I was just that's, about to yeah, tell you. Yeah, that's, 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 that's I was one that. of the red niggas that like just, I'm part of it, bro. okay, I could go over there with FBG and fuck with them because them, I'm cool with them, yeah. and I never played them like, or I go with Dirk and them, and they have problems with each other, and I just be like, all right, well, that's my guy. Like, I'm and, it ain't too, and it ain't too many niggas that could really do that. Both I'm deals, probably, it's only, look, it's only I'm a couple like niggas. one of the only guy, like even Young Chop, I felt like as on the producer side, he was a nigga that should have been able to do that, but it was like yeah, he started he picking sides too. He picked sides, yeah. He picked I sides. never pick sides. That's one thing I said. Because, because at the That's end at the problem. end of the day, you know it was in you business before anything. At the end of the day, it's business taking care of that business, bro. And I never really think yeah, about like, that. Like that. Hey, hey, no, Yo, I kinda oh, hold on, uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Yellow, you could you could say that, right? But yeah. also think about how long it took you to have that mindset. You feel me? Yeah. So niggas probably don't even be thinking about having that, yo, let me get this business done first before any of that shit. Niggas just like, fuck it. Let's crash out. You feel no, me? Because, no, because bro, for, real, for, real, for real, for real, for real, for real, in Chicago, bro, it's only a certain few niggas but that can do that because a, a, nigga, so a, nigga, a nigga really get on your ass because you over there fucking. Right, right. right. Are you over there? You over there? I got cousins. I got blood cousins. That's OTF on GLD, nigga. My grandma... A sister key. That's what's so crazy. Game, nigga, that's a lot really... of niggas this whole time related. That. And when I found man, all then I... all us related, all us related. And everybody, Dirk and them every, all, and, bro, and, my whole family from Central and City. everybody's family definitely fucked with each other before all this shit. That's you know what I'm saying? So crazy about. Bro, I used to be at the spot, bro. Niggas in that bitch OTF hoodies on on gang twenty. I came home. I got out of prison back then, 2011. End of 2011, going to 2012, like when it first started. When it's first started buzzing on game, but I used to be at the spot, but my face wasn't really involved with the shit like that. You feel me? Like niggas ain't even really niggas knew me from the streets. You feel me? Before all that, bro, I was on yeah, game no, game, no, GDs and, and 07, 08. Before all this shit, I yeah, nigga, nigga already had their name in the streets, but far as like 
Like, nigga, my block, nigga, we wasn't touring with no BDs. Nigga, my homies from 73rd and 80, bro, be mad as hell, bro. How the fuck you went to it? BDs, what the fuck? We that, all right, right. Yeah, right. That's definitely how niggas that. came up. People don't realize the climb in us, Chicago, from 06, 2006 to 2010 that created this anti-GD sentiment yeah. in the streets. It was a real, it was a set of events that really happened in the streets of Chicago that was the precursor to what the drill movement was. And a lot of people don't talk about that time. It was dudes like Yella, get niggas like Lil Less, niggas like just a lot of heavies that was out here that was in that age range that we don't that don't get talked about that created, you know, even like let's say like Lil Char, I don't Lil, know, you know, Lil J. You know, a lot of people that was that created the that that palette for that shit to happen where it, it, it you know that shit was really going up and mm -hmm. people don't, and a lot of them niggas is in jail for the rest of their life and you know it's kind of crazy i still talk to a lot of them guys but what i'm trying to say is to see the effect that that shit had on the community at large uh and the role i played in it is is quite disturbing and I feel yeah. like a bitch if I leave Chicago at this point. And niggas that made some of this music and these kids to die, I do whatever I can. I don't even feel like the programs and all that, all that shit is cap. Like whatever information I could give, free beats I could give, I do. Like I think yeah. about me personally, just and I, and I know this is about yellow. Like I, I see yellow go for word. I was just I about to say that. Shit. What? Go ahead, finish. You was finna that, say what? That's about yellow. But who? But this the thing though. I understand that. But this is my homie. So it's like, and and nigga in, re, in real life, bro. You talking to the Godfather right now, bro? You got to pay homage. Wait, what? Hello? I'm telling you what you got to do, fuck. <laughs> Wait, you know who what? You talking to, fuck? Hello? All right, go ahead. Yeah, say he the God. Go ahead, fin finish my boy, because we got questions for yellow, you know? Hey, bro, where you from in New York? Homie, are you going to finish the questions? Hey, bro, Dre. You chill, chill, something, chill. Bro. Everybody relax. Let's get keep the fucking... No, because he being disrespectful because he don't know who he's talking to. I'm being respectful to the brother. No, nah, everybody be respectful. Let's keep the convo moving. No, nah, yelling my bands. I'm showing him. No, nah, we know this. He happy that. He probably happy I'm here speaking with him, but, bro... I'm going to be honest with you. You sound like you trying to infiltrate on some Chicago shit. You's a fucking goofy, dude. Come out. I ain't bad. Hurt. Huh, got you. All right. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> know all That's why. Chill, I bro. just want world peace. No, he good. Yeah, he good. I be trying to be nice to niggas and, and even give niggas a voice to even the fuck. But yo, um, finish saying what you were saying, Yellow? I don't know. Y'all just threw me yeah. off. <laughs> no, but I'm saying. Hey, uh, just, you know, Ella, Ella turn up. It's cool. <laughs> we good. Y'all just, just brought the bug out of air. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so now, nah, on the dipping shit, though. So, so did you have him kind of talks with Duck and shit before all this went on? Huh? Was you having them kind of talks and shit with Duck and all that before before all this shit? Like, like, telling like what? Like telling him he need to bounce and shit, like leave the crib. Man, hell yeah, I had his big brother out here in Vegas with me, nigga. He went back to Chicago and got killed before Doug did. Hell yeah, like. Man, that shit crazy. Like at the end of the day, bro. Once a nigga spread his wings, bro, and left, bro, it's like, bro. Okay, I made this decision. Okay, I'm in Vegas, bro. L.A. right here. I all this shit, I could travel all this shit, Texas, everything, like right here. Arizona, all this, you feel me? Niggas still could bust moves. Like at the end of the day, like I don't, I'm gang. Like I don't feel like no, I don't feel like no coward, no nothing. Cause a nigga ain't never nigga say what they want to say. Nigga, ain't, nigga ain't got no videos, no nothing. Nigga ain't never mush me, push me, nothing. Nigga, I just left prison, everything. Nigga, real game member walking the line, all that. Like you feel me? But it's, you know, it's it's time for a change. Like you feel me? Like what the fuck? Like I got tired of being in Chicago from doing the same shit. Like we doing the same shit, bro. Every day I could name That's the whole fact. day. Going to the studio, getting drunk, fucking hoes, sliding, doing dumb shit. Like the same shit every day, bro. Like it was really like, bro, that shit was draining. Like nigga, really miserable inside, bro. Like you feel me? Like 
No, that's a fact. That's a fact. That and listen, that's how I feel every time I leave the crib. G, like I come back to the crib, go through a little mini depression every time a nigga get back to this hoe. Yeah, like, man. Like, then like you get like you could tell, bro. Like even look, say you hop on the plane, bro, and land in LA. Pff, the sunshine, everything. So you hop on the plane and go back to Chicago, bro. It's gonna be dark, gloomy, Just gloomy than a bitch when you get to this bro, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's the summertime, bro. It's gonna look like death, bro. It's that's just. Oh no, that, bro! That it's, is a wild way to describe it, for real though. Like it's, it's like it's, death is floating over Chicago, bro. I'm promise, bro. Like, and I tell people all the time, G. I'm like, bro, it's crazy because the little niggas ain't, you know, because you in my age range, we in them thirties and shit. Like, like we still had motherfuckers, OGs and shit, and we was shorties. These little yeah. niggas ain't had that shit, and it's like Hell these little nah. niggas right now. I feel like they killing each other over nothing, G. Like it ain't even like you know it's back in the day killing. we hear about. We'll hear about somebody getting whack and they'll be like, oh, he owes such and such, such and such. Yeah, there was a reason behind it. You know what I'm saying? Justify. Now these niggas that's killing nigga for anything. This nigga stepped right. on my shoe. Oh, I, I thought he was. Th oh, this nigga looked at me crazy. Oh, this nigga pulled on. Exactly. Like, it's just dumb shit. Like, that's why I really, I really, man, I don't be involved in that. Like, man, on game. Like, I talk my shit. I do my one, too, because niggas talk they shit and do they want to on game. Like, you feel me? But. Right. Other than that, nigga really on some growth and development. Like, a nigga really trying to nah, change and do that's better for itself, bro. Like, a nigga ain't trying to do the same. A nigga trying to get some money and live life, bro. A nigga trying to go out of country, do different shit. A nigga ain't trying to be stuck, hit, game banging, doing the same shit. That shit lame as fuck. Like, come on, man. Nigga been doing that shit all their life, bro. No, that's a fact. So, I've been throwing up pitch for it since the 90s, nigga. I ain't <laughs> the fuck. Stop My mama. Playing. You already know. So, uh, for the ones that don't know, like, shit, what's the backstory on, like, maybe how you and Duck came about and all that shit? You know what I'm saying? I know you done told the story and shit, but some folks ain't familiar with it. So, man, you want you want to know why, bro? I met Duck at? Yeah, what up? No, I met Duck, nigga, at the gas station on 55th and Wabash, nigga, in, 20, <laughs> in 2012, nigga. Folks was getting some blunts. That was my first time ever seeing a little nigga. We chopped it up. Cause you know we not from the same. I'm from 73rd. They from 63rd. The other right, side. Right, right. You know? But uh, yeah, we tapped in. But I I was already in cahoots. Like you know, like how everything really played. Like little Mister and them, Rico Reckless, all of them from Wooden mm -hmm. World on 75th and Stewart. Like I I I went to school over it. I went to Harvard. You feel me? I I went to school with them. So. When all the GDBD shit had started, everybody, like, all the BDs was leaking up, so all the GDs started leaking up. So now I'm fucking with Lil' Mister, Lil' Mister, and I'm fucking with JoJo. You feel me? So now this I know. Lil' JoJo, all them. Lil' JoJo and them fucking with, with Duck and them, with Lil' J and them, with Billionaire and them. You feel me? So it all right. just started lining up. So now I'm around gang and them. You feel me? We all at the show doing shit. So now niggas start coming around. So that's how we start fucking around. You feel me? Okay, well, little... like growing growing up before that, like I ain't no bro and them, like you said me now today, and you know bro and them three four years younger than me, so right, you know? right, right. What about like with Lil J and them? He was uh in that same type of shit, like he came around in that same timeline. No, look, you know Lil J and Duck and all them Bill, you know all them all them niggas from sixty third the same line. Right, right. So them all, they they all came up together. So when you link, linked with them, all right, bet, bet, bet. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, you know, everybody probably popped up different times or niggas, you feel me? But we right. all, Lil Swag, JoJo Brother, all us, you feel me? Killer Kills, P Rico, you feel me? So all us, you know, all the GD. Shit. Uh, what about, like, so So when Duck did that goddamn, what you said to that man when he did, when he tried to end all this bullshit, when he did that uh, Chicago Legends, you think that shit was about to work? I mean, bro, I'm gonna because I mean, I know you tried to do that one too. That's the one, we yeah, but about. You got like everybody, started. like everybody, like he just made a song, it wasn't even no, it wasn't even no movement. Like, bro, was out here pushing something to stop the violence, right? Right, you heard what he, you still heard what he said right after that. Make Chicago Legend, shit, that was just about that business. was just about he business. Got he, was, he wasn't serious about that. I know what type of nigga Duck is, bro. Nigga, folks, niggas done lost too many niggas, bro. Duck did that shit because of the labels made him do that shit. Like, you feel me? Like, right. let's try to knock the doors down and, and do something different because, you know, niggas are scared to book us. Niggas, we, we having shows, Minnesota, Chicago. We can't even perform at home. We wasn't able to perform oh, at home. Me, I remember. 
that shit all that crazy. we can perform. You feel me? So a lot of that shit was like, like I was serious. I know, bro. Like that's my brother, rest in peace. Folks wasn't serious. I know. You feel me? <laughs> no, you feel? but the the good thing, like say, like he like he said, like Doug was the type of nigga, like. Bro, we done gave niggas million passes, bro, on game. Same way we call 600 breezing. Ain't, ain't. We could have stumped that nigga head in if we wanted to. You feel me? Oh, but, yeah, I was going to get to that shit, too, for sure. You feel me? Like, the, if a nigga, bro, we was five, we was five six deep at the mall, right? At the mall in Vegas? Yeah, bro, we was five, six deep, bro. We could have killed that boy in there if that's what we wanted to do. But I has, I'm on some totally different shit. You feel me? I'm doing my one-two out here in Vegas. You feel me? I wasn't. If I, look, but if. To be honest, if I knew if I, I, I was going to go to prison and all this shit and, and get on these people's radar like that, a nigga would have did them dirty in that bitch. You feel me? But the place we was at, it was like we was in Planet Hollywood. That's in the middle of the strip, bro. So, right. you Yo. that be well. You can't, you feel me? But, hell no. Nah. Yeah, look, that shit can't end. Man, that shit ain't going to never end, bro. You got that. That's you what got, I was just about to say. Bro, me and Bill, you never just talking about it. You like, bro, this is some. Some little niggas, 15, 16. Like, you niggas, my kids ain't. You, you niggas ain't sliding. But we definitely ain't sliding on y'all. Y'all some kids. What the fuck? Slide. Get your goof ass on, man. But you know, it's, see, that's the thing. I think these kids got started too young. Like, you, man, man, these kids is fucked up, man. I Listen, man, I'm in the house with little kids. Man, these kids not, man, my, my youngest, three and four, bro. These kids, they, and they had, they 10, 11. This, they not. Three, four, man. These kids are something different, man. On my mama, these kids is different, bro. Like I don't know, they jumping off the porch way early, bro. They this technology is fucking them up. Oh God, technology fucking them up. Social media, everything. They see everything that's going on. Then you got to think about it. Look at these are kids of other motherfuckers that ain't had no guidance or nothing. You feel exactly. me? Ain't no struggle. Like even. Even like in the midst, like when I was growing up, bro, we was getting money. Like before all that bitty GD shit, nigga, on my mom, nigga, I, my whole hood, you no, know, I was the youngest nigga selling work, nigga, doing my one, two, bro. But it was structured, folks on game. You feel right. me? We really had sessions and all that. Like we talk to a GD right, nigga, don't know nothing. These niggas don't know no literature. Niggas don't know nothing. They don't know. Niggas don't know nothing shit about, about nothing. They all they know is they GD. About, yeah, trust, they go to jail. Yo, I'm GD. Nigga gonna punch you in your mouth. You don't even know no paperwork. You don't know nothing, nigga. On game, so these niggas, it's, it's just a new era, bro. It's like no structure, it's no big homies, it's nobody. What it yeah, is, when big no, homie, when your big no, homie 17, it's a problem, man. Come on, man, <laughs> you feel me? And, and it's different now because it's different now because the 17 year old probably got a hundred thousand on them. No, nah, that's a fact, that's a fact. Nigga wasn't 17 with no hundred thousand, nigga. I'm nigga 17, nigga. Nigga, nigga, what happened? Nigga, five, ten thousand dollars, nigga. Oh All god, day, nigga. oh god. Nigga still had not, uncles. Not, not uncles. a whole world different, man. We had a Chevy on some foes. Now nigga got fours on four Gs, <laughs> niggas, design ad things, nigga. We just went hey, to broke club. Club. to get a little bubble, nigga. Put that bitch on some shit. And keep it moving. Man, come on, man. That nigga ain't spending nothing. We can probably slide to Indiana get that bitch about a hey, thousand, you know fifteen hundred, <laughs> nigga. Put on GOD. Folks and them stealing rims, we get them 700 for them bitches. Pull it up. up, put some sounds in that bitch, nigga. Go to make go right get up, a spray. Pull right yo. up on the hose. Pull right yo, up. Yo, <laughs> yo Yala, what made you change? Like, what made you change? Because you know, you used to be wild as shit. Interviews, all that, like, going crazy. Him, bro, like, camera, I, all, all bro, this all, bro, this all, bro, I always been like this. It's just, bro, a nigga done took so many losses. It be like, like, Motherfucker just asked, why yellow flip flop? Nigga, the same way, why Tupac? Nigga, I'm bipolar. Nigga, I'm nigga, I'm fucked up. Nigga, I don't know. I might be feeling like nigga God. Nigga, the next day I might feel like the devil. I don't know. You feel me? That, that just.